Hello guys, welcome to Romta Solutions. Welcome to your grade 12 mathematics. Today in our logarithms, we're looking at how to solve equations using logarithms. So guys, I believe from grade 10, you have seen that sometimes it is not easy to solve some exponential equations. For example, in your finance, to find the number of years, it was not that easy, right? Even in grade 11, it wasn't easy to find the number of years, all right? Until you got to use, yeah, it's still not easy because you were still using the trial and error method, which is basically a cumbersome procedure, right? It's tiring, but now you must be grateful that you do mathematics yeah, it is now easy for you to um, solve problems, okay? So, we have seen that when the roots are rational, it is basically easy to solve exponential equations, right? For example, let's look at this guy. 2 to the x, let me change the color. Let's say 2 to the x equals 8. It's easy, right? Because you will say this is 2 to the x equals 8. 2 to the 3. Now, because the bases are the same, we can simply say this is x is equal to 3. And indeed, when we prove it, we will try 2 to the 3 is basically equal to 8, right? So it means this is working, right? Now, how about, or what about, um, what about 2 to the x equals 5? Hmm. Now, this is where the problem starts, right? This is where the problem starts, isn't it? This is where the problem starts. But be grateful that you are doing mathematics and we have introduced logarithms, right? So, we are going to show you how you solve these guys when you are... Or rather, we're going to show you how you use logarithms to solve these kind of problems, Okay. So, we're not going to waste time. We have taught you um, the logarithmic rules. Now, we are going to apply them on equations. So, let's do this. Example, let's say solve the following. Solve the following. I'm going to take that one. 2 to the x, um, 2 to the x equals 8. And then 2, I'm going to take 4 to the 2x equals 5. Number 3, I'm going to take 3 to the a equals 2.2. It's boring, right? I know. And then number 4, I'm going to take log a base 2 minus 1 equals 1.5. Right? Right. Now let's go. Let's solve this. Number one, we said 2 to the x equals 8. Guys, I know it's tempting. We're going to use what we've been taught so far. All right? Now, because we're teaching you logarithms, I will say to you, log both sides. Guys, for starters, because I want you to understand this, but it can be done. I'll show you how quickly. It'll be log 2 to the x is equal to log 8. Then what is this? This is x equals log 2. I mean, sorry, x log 2 is equal to log 8. You don't have to simplify that. But even if you want to simplify, go ahead and simplify. Okay? Because what do we know? We know that this guy is basically 2 to the 3. All right? But I'm not for that. I will simply say x equals log 8 over log 2. Guys, take out your calculators, okay? Take out your calculators and tell me what this is. Otherwise, this, you can also say it is log 8 base 2, okay? Tell me what your calculators are giving you, guys. I know they will give you 3, all right? I know they will give you 3. So they will give you 3 simply because this is log 2 to the 3 
and then this is three log two base two and the three right so now me saying log both sides i wanted to say um you it's in fact for you to understand this you can do you can you don't have to write this instruction you can directly do this it's good for you but preferably you write it okay it's preferable that you write it okay proceeding now let's go number two number two we have four to the two x is equal to five ah uh, we cannot solve this in the normal way right so we will log both sides so what is this log four base two x equals log five so what is this two x log four is equal to log five again 2x is equal to log 5 base 4. Remember, <laughs> remember I said this is the same as log 5 over log 4. Right? If you recall in the previous lesson, this was rule 4. Right? Therefore, you can say our answer x equals log 5 base 4 all over 2. Let's try it. So our answer is x is 0 0.58, right? x is 0 0.58. So we're going to substitute this into our original equation. Let's see. So 4, 2, open bracket, 0 0.58. It must give us something close to 5. Let's see. 4 to the power 2 times 0 0.58. Right? It is 4,99, so which is roughly... Five. So this is correct. Do you guys see this? This is correct. Right? This is correct. Okay. Now, number three, it's the same thing, guys. Number three is the same thing. So I'm going to skip it. I'm going to go to bar four. Okay. Number three is the same thing as what we've been doing. Okay. It is the same thing as what we've been doing. Right? Basically trying to say to you, if you have done the right thing, your answer for number three, when you check it, it will be, let me just write it in J in passing. Number three, guys, your answer will be, uh, for number three, guys, your answer will be 0 0.72. I'm not going to focus on it. Now let's go to number four. 0 0.72, three. Now number four, we are going to try it. Number four, it is log a base 2 minus 1 is equal to 1.5. So this will become log a base 2 is equal to 1.5 plus 1. What is this? This is log a base 2 is equal to 2.5. So you see when it's like this, it's like you have a logarithm. Now you are converting it back to an exponential. So what is this? It means a is 2 to the powers 2, 5. 2 to the power 2, 5. So let's see. So what is our answer? Answer is A is equal to 5,66. Now let's see. When we substitute A as 5,66, if we will get the left hand side to be 1,5. Let's see. Log 5,6. 5,66 minus 1. See, log 5,66 base 2. Log 5,66 base 2 minus 1. What do we get? Indeed, we get 1,5. So this is, okay, this is correct. So remember, guys, it's important to note this when it is like this. You just say, oh, I'm basically going back to an, expon an exponential. So what do you do when you go back to exponential? What is the base? So maybe let me summarize this. From exponential, if you have 2 to the x equals k, right? Your x will become log k base 2. Now, if you have log, I'm going to turn, I'm not going to use this one. If you have log 
y base 2 equals equals p okay equals p y will become 5 to the power p okay y will become 5 to the power p okay so if you can know this if you can know this you are good to go all right you are good to go so we've been doing this on along and we concluded this video by doing this okay and this is what you have been doing or what you will be doing in your inverse of exponential functions okay this is what you will be doing in inverse of exponential functions so here we anti-log when we anti-log what is the base of your log will become the base of your exponent i repeat when you anti-log what is the base of your log will be the base of your exponent for example guys let's try this let's say log k equals three you know what that means log k equals three if we are solving for k it'll be remember we said basically this is saying to us this is basically saying to us um the base is 10 so to solve for k we will say k is equal to 10 to the three remember the base here is 10 and what is this it is a thousand and indeed you can check it out when you check it out if you say log a thousand it will tell you that it is three do you guys see this so when you anti-log whatever that was the base of your log will be the base of your exponent okay the exponent is three as you can see its base is 10 okay so this is how you solve these okay guys so this is it guys i hope you have enjoyed this and however the exam comes for you you will be able to crack this remember this you can get even in your question one however they ask you these questions i know you will make it so remember you would like to get in touch with us visit us on www ramtasolutions.co.za and of course on our website you will see all these icons you can click on any of them these three will take you to our social media platforms and of course you are watching this video on our youtube channel and of course you can subscribe like and share lastly if you would like a twitter please use these two icons you can send us a whatsapp text or an email and guys please may it be your parents that are talking to us for what okay let us finalize such details with your parents and not with you guys okay that shows um that you know it is your parents that want this and not you but of course some of you are already adults um you are upgrading some are working that obviously you are your own parent but please if you are a minor may we talk to your parents okay all right guys and all the best for your examinations bye bye